Oh wow, well, the big question of the day. It's a bit overwhelming, I think, to think about more the changes in the world in 2025. At the moment, we're revising our strategy for Sphere. In five years' time, I don't think the world's prices are going to go down, they're going to go up. And we definitely need a picture, a vision on what we want to achieve. I really hope that as we're revising the strategy, that we look beyond the, the humanitarian actors that, that we've spoken to for the last 10, 15 years or so. We need to invest a lot more in um, our outreach to humanitarian practitioners. In five years time, my dream for Sphere is it is inclusive. It is a community that is diverse and that leverages that diversity. In 2025, we have a footprint through membership across every country and, every, and reaching more down to the communities. It is a community that welcomes not only practitioners who were doing this work 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, but we have a place for young learners, we have a place for future humanitarians. And the members of Sphere have a stake in that. They have a voice that can help us shape how Sphere evolves over the coming period of time. To me, this was an opportunity to show up and, and to put our voices at the table and say, okay, we're not just using Sphere, we're shaping Sphere into the future.